Hello everyone, this is Model Deer Farmer. Today we are taking a look at one of these two items. We are taking a look at the Kinsey 1305 Grand Cart made by Speccast. The tractor, just there to kind of give you some comparison of what it looks like hooked up to a tractor. We're not doing a review on the tractor today, today but let me know if you do want to see a review on the tractor down in the comment section below. I can certainly do that for you if you would like. So today we are looking at the Kinsey 1305 164th scale grain cart made by Speccast. This d version does have the soft tread tires. Um, you can also get dual tandem duels um, as well as um, soft tread tracks. So this is a pretty good grain cart um it is made by speccast so it is going to cost you a little bit more but speccast does a great job some of these bigger grain carts whereas Ertl kind of just sticks to the 875 bushels ones so this is kind of a bigger cart um it does come in a window box so it is a box with a window on the front side to be able to see it they have very good packaging for it i I will say that Speccast has way better packaging than anything that Ertl has. Ertl's packaging, not very good. But I will say that Speccast has awesome packaging. You uh, don't really have to tear the whole thing apart to be able to get to the toy. So if you want to put it back in the box later, you can do that. The price point for this, you can get these anywhere from $25 to $35, I believe. I got mine from Iowa Diecast. Um, egg farm toys so check them out online as well so I got this from there I think their price was at about $26.95 um, so that is how much kind of in the ballpark that you want to pay for pay for one of these grain carts so we'll kind of take the grain cart off the tractor here and kind of take a look at it we'll fold the auger in right now but so it is a very nice long grain cart front to back. I really like the way that looks. A a longer grain cart compared to the little, pretty much just square ones that Ertl makes. So you do have the Kinsey logo, the newer Kinsey logo right there on the side, along with the 1305. This thing holds 1300 bushels in real life. You got the stripe the rest of the way back. So you do have your rubber tires here. Nice big wide tires with your plastic gray rims with the painted center cap. You do also have the braces alongside here, four of them on each side that are painted black. So very nice detail with those braces on each side as you would expect from Speccast. If you have anything Speccast or have seen anything Speccast, you know that they provide great detail on all of their models. So now I kinda wanna take a look at the bottom since we were talking about those braces. Um, we do have the axle here that is screwed on. That is die cast on the frame for that. The bottom here, that part's plastic. A little bit of plastic there, but you do have the die cast hitch. So it is a good sturdy hitch. It does have some plastic intricate parts on it, though, as well. You got this down here, which I believe that's kind of like, it's the thing that helps turn the auger. Um... Not not the PTO shaft, that's, I don't know, it's the box that goes off and turns both this auger and the second auger as well. You do get the PTO shaft up here as well, that kind of sits off to the side of the hitch. You do also have the jack on here as well. It does not move back and forth or anything like Ertl ones do, but it is fixed there in place, so you can set the grain cart down and the hitch is still off the ground but then it is also high enough up that when you hook it up to the tractor, it's not gonna drag, which is nice. You got some more braces here on the front of the hitch just to kind of support it more in real life because when, when you have this thing loaded, it is a very heavy, heavy beast. So the auger does sit in its folded position like that. You can unfold the auger, of course. It sits there. You do have a little bit of movability. Not much, but you, it is there. You do have 
the spout, and then you have the very nicely detailed painted um, hydraulic cylinder there to move the adjustable spout, which is very nice that they put that detail in there as well as the hydraulic cylinder right there and right there, which that one folds in the auger and that one moves the auger like that. Also up here on the front, if the camera will focus, you do have the little meter up here, which shows how open or closed the gate is on the grain cart to let, to figure out how much crop it is letting, grain is letting through at a time. You do have the, um, the window here as well. So then when you have it hooked up to the tractor and you're going through the field, you can see as the operator how much corn you have in that in the cart. Now we'll kind of move to the back of the cart. I, are, I showed you the left side, so I don't really need to show you the right side. It's pretty much the same though. You do have your other window back here. You can see where that, where that auger would be along the bottom of the cart because this is a big enough cart where it's not just a single auger system. This has to be a dual auger system. So auger runs through the bottom of the cart, which then takes it up that auger and out into whatever you're dumping it into. You do have the painted painted uh, tail lights and flashers turn signals there on the back as well, which is nice detail. And you do have the Kinsey logo. So very nice back end of this grain cart. Looks really nice. Now, as we get to looking in the top, there is one thing that I wish they could have done different. See, they kind of got these little lips right here in the corners, which is how it's supposed to be, but in real life, those, it would be lipped all along the front side too, whereas the front side on here is just flat. So I feel like they could have done that to add a little more detail onto there, but I'm pretty sure they're using the same casting as they've made grand cards that pretty much look about like this for probably 10 years. But you do have detail inside of here. You can see the wheel wheels for where the wheels would sit. It is kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see the auger coming across down there. Can't really quite see it through the camera, but it is what it is. You do have a mesh um, top here that would make, it's kind of got that in real life. Um, I think it's mostly just for stability, um, but I could be wrong as well, but it, it looks good in there. It. It looks like the real thing, I will say that. So it looks looks nice. Um, it's a solid grand cart. The axle rolls very well. And this thing, I don't know. I have lots of tractors that I could put this with, but honestly for sitting here, I think the 9RT looks about like the best. I really like the 9RT on these Kinsey's. I don't know why, but when I actually have it sit on my shelf, it is actually hooked up to a Versatile, which I'm not sure that Versatile probably doesn't have a PTO in real life, but for sitting on display, it's not that big a deal. But it is a very nice detailed grain cart. You can see that when it's hooked up to the tractor, it is, uh, the jack is sitting off the ground, so it's not gonna be causing any problems when you're trying to drive it back and forth, if you are. Now, one thing that is kind of different from any other Speccast implement is we do have just like the normal normal Ertl hitch here, which is kind of weird since this is made by Speccast. What I'm saying by Ertl hitch is it fits right into all the hitches on Ertl tractors. Now, if you're wanting to hook this grain cart up to, say, a Speccast tractor, um, there's not really many Speccast tractors that be big enough to handle this, but maybe the Massey Ferguson 8735S, I think, you would not be able to hook that up to it because it does not have the standard spec cast hitch that has the two little parts with the hole and then the hitch pin. It is more set up to go on an Ertl tractor, so I mean, you can put it on that. If we take the 8RX here as well, um, we can put that on there. So pretty much you can put any Ertl tractor on it that you would want to. So you can't put it on any Speccast tractors, but it looks good if you got a good John Deere. I mean, you could probably put another brand on it. It would look good. Probably look good with a good T9 
In fact, let's actually try that right now because I kind of want to see what that's going to look like. I do have the 2021 New Holland Farm Show toy, which is a T9 something, T9 600 maybe. Um, so that would be a good looking tractor, blue tractor to go on the blue cart. So uh, yeah, that's that's looking real nice on there as well. Um, it goes good with any Ertl tractor. That is, there's only pretty much two downsides to this grind cart from what I can see and it being that hitch that you could possibly not put it on a spec cash tractor that you want and having the lips on the front here and the back extend out a little more would kind of make it look a little bit more like the real thing but i mean otherwise it's a pretty good grind cart if you want it go ahead and get it um it i, I really wanted it because i don't have anything else kinsey so i thought that'd be kind of a nice kinsey piece to add to the collection but i hope you enjoyed the video today everyone if you did you can go ahead like the video th consider subscribing as well um, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave those down in the comment section below. If you have any ideas of what we should review next on the channel, you can leave those down in the comment section below too. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, Model Deer Farmer, I'll see you in the next one.